Hi everyone, welcome along. Today's video then, how to change a ball cock in the roof tank in the loft. Okay, this is for a brass part 2 one. And if you've got one of those in a WC system, I'll show you what they look like. Then you can change that one as well. Now if you've got a plastic ball cock in the roof, just get rid of it. Take it right out, throw it away and put one of these part two brass ball cocks in its place. Okay, they're tried and tested, they've been going for years and years and years and they do last and last. Okay, so let's get to it then. To change this ball cock now, it's very easy. You don't have to take it out of the tank unless it's really, really tight and this nut doesn't undo. But basically you just need two spanners. I mean, I prefer footprints and a little open adjustable. Okay, and what you do, put your spanner footprints on the bottom and put your spanner which I've adjusted to this nut here okay and twist now I've, I've had slackened it off I admit that because um, I didn't want it to knock the camera in the tank which is balancing by a thread <laughs> we'll have no more camera okay under the nut and it'll all pull away okay you can see that she's all pulled out leaving you that there now the washer's inside there which is good because we don't want that sometimes it sticks on the end of the face make sure the face is nice and clean okay and unscrew your ball okay we'll get that off i'll get it off on my knee because it's a bit tight okay just once it's cracked it's cracked okay and we've got the get them off of there okay and get your new one and thread it on there okay you can see that, hopefully you can see it okay. Put the old ball on, you don't need to get a new ball unless you've got something seriously wrong with it. Uh, if it's an old copper one for instance, um, if it's an old copper one it goes in the scrap bin. <laughs> it's more, more than that than it is playing a plastic one. So that's it, take, take your ball goal, this one's been adjusted up quite high. Again, with your new ball valve, if you split it like you've just done there, okay, split the towel, then you've got this. Now, Make sure the washer's in there, okay? Um, that's all you've got to make sure, and the spout's down. You can put a spout on afterwards if you like, if you're a bit worried about it, maybe snapping it off. But that's it, basically. You put him there, and do him up with your fingers first. Okay, do him up. can be tricky to get a start on it, but... Uh, it always goes in the end and so this spout can be put on afterwards it's just a bit tight to the rim sometimes if you do it before but we can actually take the spout out if you'd rather okay it might be easier for you okay so we'll take the spout out okay and do him up it's a bit easier with a spout gone it starts a lot easier okay once we've got to there once you can't do it with your fingers anymore just get it in position, aim it up. Okay, and then again, with your grips, we've got a spout missing, it is a bit easier. You can put it across where the spout was and make sure you don't crunch the thread, of course, or bust it in any way. Just hold it nice and gentle. You can hold it from the bottom as well, but I usually hold it this way around. You take the spout out, but you can hold it that way from the bottom if you're worried. Okay. But as long as you grip it either side and not on that spout rim, it'll be okay to do it up. Okay, just keep going until your fillet pinch up. Your fillet grab it. There you are, it's grabbed it now. Make sure it's nice and level now, the ball cock. Make sure she's level. Get it dead right. Okay, and do it up. And that's it. That's it. And then we put our spout back in. Reddle him in. Be careful not to cross thread him, which is very easy to do, I can tell you that. Right, next part is, um, once you've tightened that up, um, is just to tighten the ball here. Um, you can see it's on the arm there, so it's got to be tightened up. Uh, to get the level right, okay, just make sure she's down to the level where you want it, which is fairly low down on these arms, and then just tighten her up. Um, and you'll also see, once you've got that on, you can see whether your valve is dead straight. Mine's not quite dead straight, I can see it. Tighten this well up now, because you don't want the ball moving, because if it does, you'll get another overflow, I can guarantee you. <laughs> and when it's sliding up, it would pop through. Um, there we are. That, that is around about 
out the jewel actually now it's now it's gone in it's quite I can see it is quite level and done um, and then we just turn the water on right that's about it thanks for watching guys and catch you again next time bye bye